More people killed by cars on the streets of L.A. last year than in any other city in America. So today, voters are deciding on a ballot initiative that would force the city of L.A. to implement its street safety plan. KHLA 5's Aaron Myers has more on Measure HLA. Hi, those who support this measure say it would make streets safer for pedestrians and bicyclists. Those who oppose it, though, say it would increase emergency response times and it would be costly. Now, the measure would gradually require the city to upgrade sidewalks and bus and bike lanes to improve traffic safety. The ballot measure would call on the city to implement its own mobility plan that was approved in 2015, but few of those projects have been completed. The measure says the city must carry out their mobility plan every time an eighth of a mile of street or sidewalk is improved on certain areas or certain streets. It also calls for the public to be kept in the loop. They would be able to check on the city's progress on a public portal and could sue the city if they don't implement the plan. Last year, more than 330 people were killed in traffic accidents in L.A. That's up from 88 in 2015. Car crashes are also said to be the number one killer of children in Los Angeles. We spoke with voters about their thoughts on Measure HLA. I voted yes for it because I think, especially with the Olympics coming, we need to be better prepared for more ways for people to get more places. And I think this just means that um, that we all have to be more aware of what's around us, whether we're pedestrians, bike riders or drivers. There is opposition, though, including from first responders who say the plan could actually put lives at risk by making it more difficult for emergency vehicles to pass and to get around. There could be fewer traffic lanes or parking in some location. The measure also doesn't provide new funding for these improvements, so other city projects could possibly be put on hold. Firefighters have spoken out about why they want people to vote no against the measure. Every single second counts when we are dispatched to an incident. And I want the residents to know if this passes, you dial 911, this will affect an outcome when we respond to you. Now, if Measure HLA does pass, it could take up to 15 years to complete. Reporting here in Largemont Village, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio.